What's up, internet besties? I got another guitar here out of that uh, bulk buy, and I have no idea what it is. So you heard me rambling yesterday about the uh, the bulk buy I did that had a uh, number of guitars, a bass, and a bass amp in it. Uh, well, this was the last piece that I still have. It's a Epiphone Les Paul shape, but it's smaller. And I cannot for the life of me find out any information as to what this guy is. So let's do the rundown, see if uh, y'all can maybe help me figure it out. So it's clearly Epiphone branded. Of course, they put the uh, Gibson on the truss rod cover there because they're uh, trying to upsell you on it. Definitely less Paul shaped, single pickup, volume, tone. It was much, much dirtier when uh, it came into my possession, as tends to be the case. Uh, but, you know, it's been uh, dinged up. You can see that from the beginning, even the paint job, it's clearly on a, a plywood body. You can see the, uh, the layers there um, and the paint job itself, uh, you know, is, was done in a budget manner. A uh, few dings few scrapes and scratches. Pretty sure this one was uh, played by the dude's kids, uh, or maybe just knocked around and never played. But uh, regardless, it came to me for super cheap, so I'm happy. But here's where I'm stuck. It is not a Les Paul Jr., because those have bigger bodies. It's not a Les Paul Special. I have one of those here, also has a bigger body. It's, uh, it's not a Les Paul Peewee, which was also a thing because that's even smaller and is not full scale. Uh, so I'm racking my brain trying to figure out what this one is. You can see here again, side by side comparison, uh, the Les Paul Special, this Les Pauls-ish, right? It's got the wraparound compensated tailpiece. That is common on the Les Paul Junior. Also the single, uh, single pickup. It's just that much smaller. Look at this. It's just, it's just a, a, it's just a little guy. So, um, yeah, the only one that I was able to find online at all, uh, that was clearly the same, was actually an incorrectly labeled, uh, reverb sale listing, uh, where they called it a Les Paul Peewee. And it's not because the Peewee is, uh, not full scale length. But you can see here, if I line up the uh, the nut with the nut and then come on down, this guy ends at the tunematic tailpiece. This guy ends at the compensated wraparound stop tailpiece. They are the same length. It's actually, a you know, the 24 and 3 quarters inch uh, scale length of a full-size Les Paul, which is a tiny little body. Another thing worth noting on this little thin boy bolt-on neck, which is uh, also indicative that it might be Epiphone Les Paul Jr., or at least Jr. adjacent, or maybe it's just an older model of Les Paul Jr. made the way that they don't make them anymore. Pretty sure the Les Paul Juniors currently um, have two pickups, and there's a little pickup toggle that's like mounted down here. I've been doing a bunch of uh, a bunch of sleuthing. I just can't figure it out. I have it listed um, for pretty cheap. Um, I got it for even cheaper than that. So, you know, I'm not super stressed about it, but I just like knowing things and I can't figure it out. So anyway, yeah, I got her all set up. Uh, much less to do on a guitar that has fewer controls, fewer ways to modify things. Um, like I said, this uh, stop tail piece just has uh, its own preset compensation for um, each string alignment. So no individual saddles to even adjust. There's just a little set screw here that controls micro adjustments of the angle and the distance of the stop tail piece back. So uh, I got it as close to intonated. It's real close, uh, but it is unfortunately at the, uh, at the limits of its uh, of its adjustability so um it's real close it's close enough for punk it's close enough for a kid to thrash on and it's again a smaller body than a usual les paul yet still normal les paul scale length so some buyer's gonna have fun with this one so it did come with this uh, little gig bag which made me laugh a little bit because it's uh it's padding is actually this is like insulation like this is the stuff that you can hear it all crinkling. 
Like they make uh, like automotive windshield uh, shades out of it and stuff. So I don't know if that was just like the cheapest material available that still provided some padding. So they used it in that. But that made me chuckle a little bit. Um, another thing that I did have to do, you can see that these tuning machines are a little bit different. Five of them uh, were working great. But then there was one uh, where the plastic little tip there had, had busted. So I found the closest replacement I could. It's a little bit more squared off than these guys, um, but it's working. It's actually a little bit of an upgrade because uh, it's proper metal and uh, you can use that screw to adjust uh, the tension of how tough it is to, to turn. Volume knob, tone knob. Uh, I cleaned out the pots. And when I say that, I mean, there's a little access port in the back that you can pop off. It gives you access to the potentiometers, uh, which are what you're spinning there, and uh, clean those out so there's no more scratchy scratchies when you when you turn the knobs. Um, made sure that input jack right down there was uh, was super solid, and it's good to go. Uh, I have it listed as just like a small Les Paul, and I'm hoping somebody can correct me. Let me know what I actually have. Uh, either way, you know I figure it's about a hundred dollar guitar. So yeah, the closest thing, I just had an idea. There was an Epiphone that came bundled with the Rocksmith video game. I thought I was onto something. I looked it up, eh, that's different too. I, <laughs> I don't know, man. The closest thing I found was just another um, listing for a Les Paul Jr. that had this same uh, stop tail piece, single pickup, and uh, the, the two knobs. It had different colored pickup ring. And it had a pick guard as well. So, I don't know. I'm stumped. Either way, I've had fun uh, brushing up on this one. Getting it all cleaned up and uh, and rocking again. And uh, we'll see if uh, the internet agrees and it sells. Uh, it's now two hours later and I realize I forgot to say bye. So, this is the end of the video. Goodbye!